Hi everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today's food for thought, macho men. That's right, big boys, I'm talking to you. So there's a lot of guys around that think there's something manly about using their physical prowess and their size and their might in order to put people in their place, in order to assert their authority and force their effect onto people for better, but usually more so worse. And guys that think that size is might, and just because they're bigger and they can overstand you and you know, raise their voice and get all staunch with your ass, that that makes them big men, that that makes them better than you, that makes them superior, that that makes them men at all. I'm here to clean up this illusion, or this delusion. You couldn't be any more mistaken. If you feel the need to intimidate others, be them your friends, be them strangers, be them your family or your girlfriend. If you feel the need to intimidate or coerce using your physical strength and your volume and your gestures and threats, it actually indicates that you are quite the opposite of a man that is safe within himself and secure and courageous and strong and has the strength of self-control actually shows that you're weak actually shows that you're afraid and there's something that's happened to you in the past that you never properly resolved and instead of resolving it maybe you've chosen to just run with your tail between your legs and never look back and just totally ignore it hoping it fades into black and maybe it did maybe it's in the recesses of your mind but it's still playing on you Maybe there's some things that happen in life that trigger it. Maybe there's some things that you see when you go out, someone, something someone says that triggers and anchors you towards thinking, oh well, I feel like a fucking asshole right now because of something you've done, something you're guilty about, something you're ashamed about, something that makes you feel vulnerable and weak. Maybe it's an experience that traumatized you. Maybe you weren't hugged enough. Whatever it be, it's something you haven't resolved and it comes up time and time again and instead of dealing with it on an inside level like a real man would do instead you take the route of externalizing your pain externalizing externalizing your unresolved troubles and demons and regrets onto other people and making it their problem if there's not anything in the world that pisses me off more it's, it can't be more than a person that makes their problem my problem. I've got my own problems and I deal with them. I don't, you know, I try not to push them onto other people. And if I find that I somehow have, mistakenly, I apologize for it and I sincerely feel bad about it. There are some people that take glee and pleasure in burdening others and fucking with their game. You know what I'm saying? Some people really, really get off on this shit. And you know, this world is full of sadists as well as it is masochists and you need the two to tango and step in each other's toes, lift each other up while pushing each other down. But, you know, if, fair enough that people like, like that in relationships, they both know what they're entering into and they use each other so they can both play their victim and arsehole game. But it's really not fair when you start just forcing this shit into other people and bringing them into your world of bullshit and childishness, really quite unfair. And there's nothing manly about it. There's nothing manly about punching as many people as you can and starting fights and winning on top. There's nothing really manly about cornering a woman with your voice and watching her cower in fear because you have the physical capacity to hurt her more than she has the physical capacity to defend herself. There's really nothing, you know, really that's quite simply mathematics, really. I mean, it's obviously in your favor. Take a heavyweight put him against the lightweight there's nothing brave and courageous about the heavyweight knocking the lightweight out you know not to say the lightweight doesn't turn around David and Goliath style turn the tables and flip that bitch on his ass and that could happen and if a woman was to do that to a guy fuck yeah man kudos to her but the principle is it's not really a fair fight and the odds are usually against her so there's nothing really great about winning such a fight or even starting it in the first place to me, if I saw, you know, Goliath 
starting a fight with David, I'd be like, what's your problem, little man? You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how tall he is or big he seems. Obviously, it's a small man complex. Obviously, there's something that makes him feel small enough where he's got to pick a fight on people that are smaller and weaker and more vulnerable or people that just want peace and don't want to fight. These are the types that, you know, a lot of guys were starting to fight with because they don't really have the balls to follow their bark with a bite and to walk their talk. So they'll shout loudly, I'm this and I'm that and I'm this and I'm all fearful. And then they'll find some petty little mouse that will fear them just to justify their claims. And it's quite weak. It's a weak strategy. So that's the basic food for thought right now on that matter is that, you know, if for whatever reason you feel your life is over, I would say the one thing you could do now that could redeem you from all your petty atrocities and crimes would be to let go of everybody that you're attached to as a parasite, vampirically sucking their energy just to build your sense of sick worth. And I would push the flush button. I'd send your nasty ass down to hell where you belong, if you believe in hell. Otherwise, just, just off yourself and just see black eternally. Either way, you're not fucking with people that don't deserve your shit. The world's got enough shit as it is. There's nothing big about being able to throw big piles of shit at people with big hands. On the outside, everything looks big, big, big. But on the inside, small, small, small. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man up, people. Australia says no. Thanks.